So today I've got for you a bit of a quick news update and I'm going to try keep this quick but trust me it is big. This is definitely the biggest update we've had on the summer 2022 sets since that first list of like set numbers dropped and this is just basically an updated version of that with some updated prices, lots of piece counts and even a few little details on these sets. These are coming from electricbricks.com which is actually a Lego seller uh, meaning that basically these are products that they are set to get soon well in August uh, so pretty much it basically confirms their existence. I was actually preparing to film my predictions video, my full one at least, because I hadn't really done it yet. I had done it when we got those rumor lists and I just did a quick prediction thing, but that is kind of what I'll be doing in this video as well. I will still have my predictions coming out uh, as long as like the actual list doesn't drop like tomorrow. Uh, I will get my predictions out there, uh, but this is I'll just be doing some quick predictions through this based on what I got originally and then uh, some updated versions too. Getting into it now, there are notably a few sets missing. Now this could be for a variety of reasons. I think the most likely one is that those sets are exclusives to like Target or something. Uh, that would make a lot of sense. They could also be like releasing in June and they just haven't listed them. Or as I just said, they just haven't listed them. Uh, but anyways, we will just be getting into these now. Uh, some of these were, there are no updates for, but some of them there are. Uh, and if they're on this list, it means that they showed up on the website, meaning that the set number is pretty much confirmed to be happening. Anyways, getting into it now, set 75323, we don't know what it is, we don't know the piece count, but it is 160 USD, again all prices in this video are in USD, and it comes out August 1st. Uh, now that's pretty much any update I can give on some of the sets that don't have a piece count, uh, is that release date confirmed for August 1st, which we kind of guessed, uh, but some of them we know are actually coming out June 1st. My prediction for that one is either an Echo Base or a Geonosis Arena. Moving on now to Z75325, this is the unknown Book of Boba Fett set which we've known about for a while now. It has 411 pieces and the price has changed from $70 to now $60. And again this is coming out June 1st, however it is obviously still debated whether it's June 1st or May 1st. I do think however now there's probably more evidence leaned towards June 1st. As for predictions I don't really know, I feel like we haven't seen enough of the show yet. Uh, to have like a big spoilery set, though my guess is actually probably like an expansion to Jabba's Palace. Also the fact that it's $60 kind of has me thinking it's a helmet set now, uh, so maybe a Fennec Shand helmet, uh, but I do kind of doubt that as why it wouldn't be releasing in March, uh, so I don't really think it's a helmet unless it's a really spoilery one, uh, but we know that we are getting at least three helmets, so I really doubt that. 75332 we now know is a 4 plus set. Now I was really wondering where the 4 plus set was this January or March. Uh, it was notably missing so really it has to justify coming in the summer. Uh, now this has 87 pieces and retails for $30. Uh, so very bad price per piece there but that's what you expect uh, from these 4 plus sets and then August 1st. My guess, I know a lot of people want a Y wing in 4 plus, I don't know if they want it but that's what they expect. Uh, but I think probably a Slave 1 or a Boba Fett Starship is the most likely option. Uh, it could justify coming in the summer if it came with, let's say, Boba Fennec and maybe a spoilery character that also comes uh, in that big, or not big, in that $60 uh, June set. Uh, but I do kind of doubt that. I, it's probably going to be original trilogy base. In fact, that could be where the rumor came from uh, of the Han Solo and Boba Fett based on Empire Strikes Back, just saying. Uh, I, I think there's a bit of evidence for that one, uh, and that's my guess, because I guess that kind of justifies it coming in the summer, uh, just to have a break between the two other Boat Fit Starships, and I know that we did get like the X-Wing in 2018 in the summer, and then we got the 4 plus one in uh, January 2019, so I, I guess it does make some sense if they just do that, but uh, really, that is just my prediction. I'm gonna try speed things up because I don't want this to turn into a 10 minute video because this is just meant to be my quick predictions. Uh, but set 75333, don't know what it is, 282 pieces, $30, uh, August 1st. So that's a very vague thing. That can be a lot of things, good price per piece. Uh, and I, I think my guess is was a snow speeder or an A-Wing from Andor. I will have to check the piece count for those though. Uh, but that's what I kind of guess that is now. I haven't really checked if the piece count matches though. 
75334, we don't know what it is, don't know the piece count, but it is going to be $50 and release August 1st, so no, nothing really new there. Uh, but that's the one that I think is the Republic fighter tank, which was the rumour we got a while ago, so that makes a bit of sense to me, a lot of sense to me in fact, uh, and there is a lot of reason to that set coming out. Uh, so yeah, I, I do definitely think that that one is the Republic fighter tank. Set 75335, don't know what it is, 1062 pieces. Uh, for a hundred dollars coming on August 1st. Uh, that can be heaps of things. Uh, seriously, so much things that that could be. Uh, my guess is probably a Bad Batch Season 2 set or just like a Season 1 set to tie into the Bad Batch Season 2 uh, because we got like that first Bad Batch shuttle and then I presume two sets coming in uh, the summer this year or maybe even one but that is what happened with Clone Wars so it does make a lot of sense. I'd say one smaller set and one larger set. Uh, but that is probably my guess for that. The other thing that it could be is an ATT, but I will actually save that for the next one. So it's at 75336, again, don't know what it is. Don't know the piece count, uh, but we do know that it's $100 though and coming August 1st. That's the one that I said before. I predict to be the ATT. Now I am very doubtful that an ATT is coming and I predict that very cautiously, uh, but the fact that it's uh, Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary and I think uh, that I know what the next set is, uh, I am going to guess that it's an ATT. Uh, I think that that's more likely than a Republic gunship. Uh, it's more likely since uh, the Bad Batch, Clone Wars Season 7. I do think that'll be Episode 2 based, but still, uh, I, I just think that, yeah, that is probably an ATT. Again, though, it is $100, which is a very vague, very broad price point. So that can be so many things. It could even be something based on the new shows. Next set is set 75337. Don't know what it is, don't know the piece count, but it will be retailing for 140 USD coming out August 1st. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that this one's a Republic gunship, but let me explain. Uh, and I do admit that it is very doubtful that it is one, uh, because there's so much evidence that LEGO won't be making a Republic gunship in playscale anytime soon. They've outright said it, but that was a few years ago now, so it does make uh, some sense that they ha will do it now. Uh, they could have been saving it for the 20th anniversary, I hope at least. I don't know if they are doing 20th anniversary sets, but if they are, then definitely the Republic gunship makes so much sense. Uh, it is by far the most iconic vehicle from episode 2, so yeah. I, I just think that if uh, Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary sets are coming, uh, then the Republic gunship makes so much sense and uh, we presume that they are coming because the clone command station accessory pack makes a lot of sense uh, that there was one for Hoth and we got all the sets last year and this year uh, but Geonosis stuff, where is it? Coming in the summer so it just makes a lot of sense to me uh, that that would be the case and I again I think it just lines up just enough that I will predict it to be the Republic gunship but I won't be surprised if that isn't coming uh, but I will be happy if it is. And finally, set 75340, I predict as the Avin calendar. It's not confirmed, uh, but things just line up too much that it is. Uh, 329 pieces for $45. Uh, like, no, they'd be making that a $30 set or a $40 set, not $45, unless it comes with like a weird big fig. Uh, but again, probably $40 for that. And September 1st, yeah, I'm 99% sure that's going to be the Avin calendar. As for what's in it, again, I can't predict, probably some stuff, some builds from the Book of Boba Fett. As for like the Santa Christmas figure, my guess is Santa Boba. I actually created one in my custom app encounter, but that is the one uh, that I think will be coming. Again, there are a few sets missing. For example, the big $530 set, that's set 75331. I think that that one's a Death Star, though it is going to be an MBS set. So yeah, Death Star does make sense that they can finally call a Death Star MBS. Uh, and I presume that that'll be pretty much the same as the other playscale ones. Nothing much will change apart from the minifigures being updated, for example. The new Stormtrooper helmet will be used. Uh, maybe some, uh, there'll be like lots of extra pieces added, uh, like 200 extra pieces like the last one, I'm sure. Uh, and it'll just be a nice set to have out on shelves because the last one obviously retired last year, so it does make a lot of sense. Uh, also, this is that we got updates for the other day. Those ones are actually coming in June alongside that Book of Boba Fett set, so that's why they're not on that list. Uh, that, that set's 75339 for $90 and 75342 for $40. I predicted this in my other video, but I think that they'll be Obi-Wan Kenobi based sets, uh, and that's why they're on June 1st, so that Book of Boba Fett set and the Obi Wan set, so it's kind of like a mini show wave in there. Uh, obviously Andor sets will be coming in the summer, that makes some sense, 
uh, but maybe some of the Bad Batch sets would be coming in June, but they either haven't been rumoured yet or have been misrumoured, I don't know. They could be coming in August though. And again for the Obi-Wan sets, I specifically predict that the $90 one will be the Inquisitor ship, and the $40 one will be a Tatooine based one like Obi-Wan's Hut, I know we just got that, maybe like a Mos Eisley, Mos Espa based set, something like that. Anyways, I do hope to get out a proper predictions video before the rumours come out, but really they could be coming out any day now, uh, so I'm not sure. However, yeah, I think that that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.